This week, customers of Sky's mail service have been receiving emails advising that their passwords have been reset. We'll look into whether this message can be trusted and the steps to take next. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. Typically, when we receive an email claiming that our access to any service will be suspended or terminated, unless we take immediate action, we view these messages with great suspicion, and they are almost always fishing for our passwords, hoping to exploit panic and fear to bypass our rational thought. This email, however, has a definite ring of authenticity, and there are several key indicators. Firstly, and most importantly, the originating email address is from Sky. We should be careful to distinguish between the name which appears in the from field, which can easily be falsified at the point at which an account is created, and the actual email address following the at sign. As email.contact.sky belongs to Sky, this is an indicator of authenticity. The email was brought to our attention by a Sky customer, and had been sent via their nominated non-Sky Gmail account. Again, a phishing attack may throw a wide net, telling you that your PayPal account will be suspended, even though you don't have one. But this message relates to a service that the customer used via a communication method they had specified. Most crucially, the claim that the password had been reset can be independently verified, and Microsoft Outlook can no longer access the relevant email account using its stored password. We therefore have every reason to believe that the message is genuine. This also tallies with our review of both the technology and popular press. Here are a selection of the articles which we were able to discover with a very basic Google search, and there were many more. Of course, it's important to check the dates in these articles to ensure that they are relevant to the current issue and not a prior incident. We note that all of the articles were written between 23rd and 25th of July 2019. The email was received on the 26th of July 2019, so clearly the two dates tally. Also, should anyone attempt to use this video in an exploit, please note that it was published on the 29th of July 2019, and refers specifically to that time frame. We wouldn't expect it to be relevant beyond September 2019. Whilst hackers will inevitably try to exploit this, all indicators point toward this being a genuine message. As a final but inconclusive pointer, the email is well formatted with appropriate spelling and grammar, and carries appropriate and current Sky logos. Historically, poor spelling, grammar and presentation have always given away hacking attempts, although eventually a sophisticated hacker will emerge to challenge this perception, and we should look to multi-level verification. Sky mentioned, but don't elaborate upon, credential stuffing. Credential stuffing is the process by which hackers exploit human tendency to make life easier by recycling the same password across multiple services. Once the security of a single website is compromised, and its usernames and passwords are leaked on the web, hackers will use an automated procedure to test these passwords against other sites. This is why it's essential to use different passwords for different services, as a single weakness can leave your entire online life vulnerable. It remains our advice to never follow links in emails, as this too can be used deceptively. Assuming that you're satisfied that the email you've received is genuine, and that your account has been reset, you should head to the link shown on screen now, and in the written description accompanying this video. You can now either enter your Sky email address, or username, then click continue. You can then opt either to have your password reset via email, or if you entered the relevant security information during account registration, you can answer a security question. We opt for the send email option, and we are advised that the email has been sent. We click continue, then head to our Gmail mailbox, where our password reset has been received. Again, in terms of basic security, we would never otherwise action an email of this type. In this instance, the email arrived seconds after we requested it, and it was clearly prompted by our actions. At all other times, we will be asking ourselves, why have we received this? Did we request this? And is this genuine? Our first thought is always to assume that an email is fraudulent unless we have evidence to the contrary, and we always advocate being defensive. As we were expecting the email, we open it. It contains both our name and email address, and will expire within 3 hours, which is 2 hours and 59 minutes more than we need to click reset password. We now need to enter our new password, and we'll enter it twice for confirmation. Note the requirement that the new password contain between 8 and 32 characters, and not include your username, first name, last name, email address, or the word password. Given that this situation resulted from credential stuffing, we'd add the advice to avoid repeating a password used elsewhere on the internet. Once the password is entered for the second time, click Done. 
We are then advised that we are all done and can click to continue. However, we are far from all done. What we've done so far is to reset the password for the email account. However, all of our devices have the old password stored and there is no automatic updating. So when they attempt to retrieve email, they will be unable to do so until we update them with the new password. If you use a web browser to access your email, for example, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox or Opera, you will be fine and you simply enter your new password when logging in to retrieve your emails. If you use an email client, such as Outlook, and by that we mean the software application from the Microsoft Office suite rather than the web service at Outlook.com, you will need to update your account information. As we've seen versions from 2007, 10, 13, 16 and 19 in use, we'll pick from the middle and use 2013 purely for illustrative purposes, although the principle remains the same across versions. We click the File tab, and we reach the default info screen, where we click account settings. We then click account settings a second time from the drop down which appears. In the dialog box, we double click on the name of our mailbox. In this instance, ours was named Sky Mailbox, although yours will have been named something else during setup. The password box will contain our old password, and we therefore remove it, replacing it with the new one we've just created, being sure to match it exactly. With the password entered, we click next and a test message will be sent. If it isn't sent, double check that the password matches. If the message is sent, your setup in Outlook will be complete. In iOS, users should select the Settings app, then scroll down to Passwords and Accounts. If iOS has attempted to retrieve mail since the password change, it will report that there was a problem accessing your account, and will prompt you to tap to re-enter your password. You will be taken to this screen, and note that Yahoo were the providers of Sky's mail service following a collaboration several years ago. Again, we simply enter our Sky email address here, before clicking Next. At the following screen, we enter our email address a second time, before adding our new password, then clicking Sign In. Having signed in, we are returned to the Passwords and Accounts screen, but notice that the error messages have been cleared, and we can again access our emails as normal. Android devices may also detect problems receiving mail, and may launch the mail application automatically. If not, manually launching the Yahoo Mail app will have the same effect. We tap the option to sign in with Yahoo to begin a process very similar to that just seen in iOS. We again enter our email address and click Next, then enter our email address again before inputting the new password, then clicking Sign In. We are advised that our login is successful and offered the opportunity to add further accounts, which at this stage we decline. A useful web resource which you may wish to use is Have I Been Pwned, which checks against databases of leaked email addresses, providing information as to whether your account details have been compromised. The site's useful Notify Me feature will send you an email should it become aware of your details being compromised at a future date. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.